Hello, welcome to our math class tutorial. So, are we going to discuss what is arithmetic sequence? So, first, let us define what is a sequence. So, when we say sequence, it is a set of things, usually numbers that are in order. So, kapag sinabi natin sequence, may pattern at pagkakasunod-sunod. So, let's take a look in our sequence example 3 5 7 and 9 and so on and these three dots is what we call the ellipsis or it denotes an infinite and each number in, in the sequence is called a term or sometimes we can call it as an element or a number so dito sa sequence na ito ang tawag dito ang tawag dito sa mga ito ay mga terms and each term has a first term, second term, third term, and then the fourth term. In an arithmetic sequence, the difference between one term and the next is a constant. In other words, we just add the same value each time infinitely. So let's take a look again in our another example. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, and 25. And so on. So, orang napapansin natin na pattern dito sa ating example na ito. So, bakit, paano naging 7, naging 10, naging 13, naging 16, and the like. So, napapansin natin na yung pattern dito ay ang pagdadagdag ng 3. Therefore, the sequence has a difference of 3 between each other. And the pattern is continued by adding 3 to the last number each turn. So, yung 3 na yun, yung nakuha natin na pattern, is what we call the common difference. In general, we could write an arithmetic sequence like this. A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, and so on where A is the first term and D is the difference between the terms or what we call the common difference. So, yung 3 na yun, yung tinatawag natin na common difference. So, sa pagkuha ng common difference na yun or sa pag-apply natin sa general form ng arithmetic sequence, we need to substitute the value of A, which is 1, the first term, and then the D, which is the common difference. So, A is equal to 1, so yun yung first term natin. And then the second term, we need to add the 1 plus the common difference, which is 4. And then para makuha yung third term, A plus 2D. So, A again is the 1 plus Two times the common difference. So, yung 2 doon, yun yung second term natin. So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1. And then, the fourth term, in getting the fourth term, A plus 3D. So, yung 3 again doon, yun yung third term natin. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So, ganun din ang pagkuha sa iba. If there is a general rule from the arithmetic sequence or general form, there is a rule. We can write an arithmetic sequence as a rule. So, ito yung formula in getting or finding the term. So, we use n minus 1 because d is not used in the first term. So, yung formula natin is x sub n is equal to a plus d multiply to n minus 1. So, yung n na ito, yun yung term na hinahanap natin. So, bakit ginamit natin si n minus 1? Because d is not used in the first term. So, balikan natin yung example natin. So, dito sa first term na ito, hindi natin magagamit si common difference. Dapat mayroong second difference or the second term para makuha natin yung common difference or yung pattern. So like for example, write a rule and calculate the ninth term for this arithmetic sequence. 
33, 33, and 38. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na ito para mahanap natin yung 9 terms. So, first, we need to look for the value of letter A, which is the first term, yung 3, and then the B, which is the common difference. So, paano natin nakuha yung common difference na 5? So, sabi natin, in getting the common difference, we need to subtract the second and then the first term. So, 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. So, para ma-check natin, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, and the like. So, paano natin hanapin si 9 term? So, para mahanap natin si 9 term, we need to use the arithmetic sequence rule or formula. So, using the arithmetic sequence rule, so we need now to substitute the value of A, which is 3, and then the value of letter B, which is 5, or the common difference. And then we need to simplify. So 3 plus 5n minus 5. So we need to distribute 5 times n is equal to 5n. Positive 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And then combine like terms. So 5n, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So the ninth term, we may nice substitute na natin. So x sub 9, yung hinanap natin na 9 term, is equal to 5 times yung letter n, which is 9. So 5 times 9 is 45, minus 2 is equal to 43. So yung 9 term natin is 43. So kung nalilito kayo sa formula na ito, may isa pang paraan para makuha natin yung 9 term. So ang gagawin natin is we need to direct from the formula. So, again, yung formula natin for the arithmetic sequence rule is the x sub n is equal to a plus d multiplied to n minus 1. So, again, the value of n, yung hinahanap natin is 9 is equal to 3 plus 5 times 9 minus 1. So, 3 plus 5, 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. And then, Dito, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si 3 plus 5 or unahin natin siya kasi we need to use the PEMDAS rule. So we need to multiply first before we add. So 5 times 8 is equal to 40 plus 3 is equal to 43. So yun na yung value ng 9 term natin. So another example, calculate the 6, 7, and 8 term of 2 8, 14, 20, 26. So, para mahanap natin yung 6, 7, and 8 term, ang unahin muna natin na hanapin ay si 6 term. So, again, meron na tayong 8 term or the first term which is 2. Ang kukunin natin is the common difference. So, paano natin makukuha yung common difference? We need to subtract 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So, 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. So, yun yung pattern natin. Gagamitin natin yung general rule or yung formula natin. So, x sub n is equal to a plus d times n minus 1. So, again, yung value ng n natin Ininahanap natin is the 6 term, so we need to substitute. The first term is 2 plus the common difference, which is 6, times yung n, again, is 6 minus 1. Is equal to 2 plus 6 times 6 minus 1 is 5. And then, then the 6 times 5 is 30. And then 30 plus 2 is equal to 32. So ito yung 6 term natin. So again, yung 6 term natin is 32. And for the remaining 2 terms, the 7 and 8 terms, please compute these 2 terms and submit your answer via messaging our 
stage. 